This is Aviv and Jared from West Coast Shaving, and today we're here with Matt, our resident straight razor expert. Okay. <laughs> Back and, more. And Matt is going to talk to us today about how to maintain your straight razor. Yeah, so a uh, straight razor, uh, surprisingly, for daily maintenance, it's not, too, it's not a lot of work. The main thing is you want to make sure that it's dry after you use it every time. So you don't want any rust or tarnish forming on the razor, especially the edge. So after you shave every time, uh, make sure you just take a towel, wipe the edge. It's not going to hurt the edge by wiping it. Um, and especially try to get, if there's any moisture building up in between the scales, uh, maybe feed the towel through there if you can. Make sure you get the moisture out as best you can. And then when you store it for the next use, leave it flat, leave it open. Sometimes the scales is, even though you do as best you can to get the moisture out, there'll be a few drops inside. So don't close it after you shave with it. Leave it open to dry so that any moisture in there can evaporate and you don't have any problems with rust. Um, that being said, you're always going to eventually get some rust and some tarnish. You know, this razor, I have, you know, it's about that time where I'm getting, especially around the pin, um, where I'm starting to get a little bit of rust and on the spine here, there's a few spots of tarnish. And at that point, you can go and get some, uh, a little polish, a nice gentle polish like Moss is one that's used by a lot of people who do straight razors or Flitz, that's M-A-A-S. Um, and uh, just gently buff out, you know, the, the, these will come right out and the razor will look gleaming like brand new, basically, you know, after use. And so we, we touched on stropping, which is a pre, some people also do post shave uh, ritual where you're getting the razor aligned. Uh, another piece of maintenance would be when your straight razor is becoming dull, you actually have to hone it. Yeah, so, you know, when, usually, it all depends on the type of razor, the type of steel that you have. So, some razors are very, um, or some of the steel used in the razor is a lot softer, more malleable, and then some of the steel is harder. So, there are some razors that keep an edge for a longer period of time. You know, if you use it every day, maybe, you don't need to hone that razor for a month of daily use, or maybe more. Um, but then there are some razors that, after a week of using it, I might need to touch it up on a home. So it all depends on the type of steel you use in the razor. So uh, you know there are differences in uh, steels depending on you know if you're talking about vintage razors, depending on where the steel came from. It was a pre-war steel or post-war steel, or was it from Galito or from uh, uh, Eskil Tuna, like this Swedish steel razor. This is a vintage Swedish steel razor from the 1950s. This, I have the perception that this uh, edge holds longer and the steel is stiffer um, than, let's say, this razor, that's an American steel razor, from, also from the 50s, that um, I feel like I have to hone it more often if I'm using it on a daily basis. So, um, yeah, so as soon as you start to feel that razor dragging a little bit, pulling, not giving you that smooth shave that you want, um, that's the time to touch it up on a home. So, should we talk about the homes now and maybe do a demonstration? You want to do that? I think we can save that for another video. Okay. So, uh, but as far as the cliffhangers, yeah, yeah right. so a little cliffhanger. Catch us next time. <laughs> any, other, any other questions about maintenance? Some people, if they're going to store the, the razor away and they're not going to use it for a while, they might use a little bit of mineral oil uh, on, on the edge, just a small amount. On the edge or the spine? On the edge, or you can really put it on the pins ah. and on the edge. Okay. Uh, you want a light coating and then kind of wipe most of it off. Uh, and you know that'll keep some of the rust away from the from the edge. Gotcha. I know a lot of the new safe new straight razors when they come from the factory they have a little bit of the 
oil on it just because it's not clear when it's going to be purchased and how long it's going to be sitting in storage. Right. Most of them, that's a good point. So most of the razors, if you're buying a new razor from the, that came from a factory that, come, that comes new, make sure you really clean it, you know, with soap and water before you start using it because uh, it will have some oil on the blade. Got it. Great. Well, that's how to maintain your straight razor. Catch you next time.